Hey you guys, how's it going? If you don't know me, hey I'm Kat. It's uh, Thursday night and I'm just stuffing my face with some Subway and you can't have Subway without having Lay's chips, in my opinion. And I'm watching Netflix. Isn't that like the perfect combination? Food, snacks, Netflix. The only thing I need is like a companion, but I don't really need a companion. I'm quite happy in my own company. I just wanted to come on and give you guys a quick update on my life and to remind you that I'm not all about Aaron Carter. I do have my life and I will get back to it within time, probably later, tomorrow, tonight. It's kind of trying to balance things out without giving people the opportunity to abandon me on my channel. I'm still here. I'm still making content. I've kind of ditched my boxy charm. So I'm not really doing the unboxings. The only unboxing that I have is my Ipsy and it's late. As usual, they're pissing me off like no tomorrow. So just a short video to remind you guys, channel's always free. I will never ask you for donations. I will never try to coerce you to buy anything shady or shifty or shitty that I don't think works. It's just the way I am. I don't use and abuse my platforms for donations or money or anything like that. <clears throat> I honestly don't know how. I don't know if I, if I could, I would. I don't know. I don't know how. So that's just the way it goes. <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe I would if I could. But it pisses me off when other people do that. So I don't think that I would try to like coerce you guys to give me money for to my life. To fund my life. I don't know. I want a new Subaru. Maybe you guys can buy it. I want some new teeth. Maybe you guys can buy my teeth for me. Just free shrugs. That's all you get. Free shrugs. TGI T? Because it's Thursday. All days are good days, though. Not just Fridays. But maybe it's because I'm mental that I think all days are good days. My nose is itchy and my eyes itchy at the same time. So I didn't know what to do first. Like, eh, what do I do first? If this is a kind of a loaded question. If you guys watch Netflix... Let me know something good. I got a piece of meat stuck between my teeth. Tell me what's good on the Netflix. I haven't been on Netflix in like two months, probably two months or more. And the last time I was on there, I watched Good Girls. So... Tell me what kind of movies you like, what kind of shows you like to watch. I like real shows like crime, documentaries, like real life documentaries, horror movies, like scary, not, not a horror movie, a scary movie like jump scares. I really like those kind of movies, even though I like psych myself out after I watch them and think like, People are hiding in my closet or around the door. Nuts. Bonk, bonk, bonkers. So yeah, that's my Thursday. I wish I had like something to show you, but I only have my sub to show you. It's a good sub though. And the chippies.
I hate seeing people eating in general, usually. But it's worse when they eat like this. And they've got like food falling out and being thrown all over the place. My younger daughter used to eat like that and I had to like tell her, close your mouth, close your mouth. Don't eat with your mouth open. Like manners need to be taught to people. When I was in getting that sub, the people that were ahead of me ordering, they were like, put on some mayonnaise, put on some more mayonnaise, put on some more grilled peppers, put on some more of this. Not once did I hear them say, please, or thank you. Manners are so freaking important. It's just, if you have manners, you're my kind of people. I was raised by like, by, I was raised going to church. I was raised going to Sunday school. I went to Bible camps. Manners were enforced in my house. So I therefore enforced manners in my own children. I suggest that, uh, you do the same for your children because manners get you so far farther along in life. I'm sure that no manners you can get far in life too, but having manners, people are just like, that person must be an all right person because you know, they have some manners. Mind you, I know lots of people that don't have no freaking manners at all. Sometimes I don't. When I'm by myself, I don't know. I usually do. But I do like belch or let a ripper go sometimes. And I'm like, I surprise myself. Like, Bleh! no, I don't. Burp. Yeah, maybe I do burp like that sometimes. But I always surprise myself. Like, did that really come out of me? <laughs> or my cat will look at me like, what the hell? <laughs> did that come out of you? <laughs> mm. So I, I hoped that I would have had my Ipsy, but they told me that it's not going to be here until like May the 6th. Who, why would my April Ipsy not be here till May the 6th? Like, did you send it by snail mail or what? My daughter's was here like a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, even maybe. My next door neighbors was here like by April the 6th. So why mine is coming a month later? Oh, they'll hate me if, if I have to say something again to them. I was already super pissed off that I'm getting an old bag. I don't want an old Ipsy bag that I probably already have. I want the new up-to-date Ipsy bags that all the same people get. The people that are in open studios get. The people that are on the freaking influencer list get. Like, I don't want some old dirty bag that you didn't, can, can, did not get rid of from last year. Like, no, I don't want that bag. So I had to go buy it at a point. It's like, why is it not available to us, the people that buy them, but it's available to purchase with your points? I don't understand that. Make that make fucking sense to me. I don't get it. And then when I say something on Instagram or Twitter, you get the same like stupid bot, like blah, 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 I'm like, you're a bot. I don't want to talk to you. So it's either like Maris or Luke or Ian or friggin' Averia or some name that I can't pronounce. So I like just regular names, you know, Jade. Lavender, Kathy, Luke, Mike, Jennifer, 
You know, Susan, Tammy, Terry, just normal names. Why do you got to name your kid A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P? Like that, those names just don't make any sense to me. Do you hate your child? Really? You must really dislike your child if you're giving it a name like that because it's going to have to spend the rest of its life being like, that's not my name. That's not my name. That's not how you pronounce my name. My name's pronounced like this. La, 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 la. So I'm just jibber jabbering on when I should be getting back to my food and my movie. Oh, I had to get that piece of meat out of my teeth. My two front teeth are crowns. So when things get stuck in there, it like irritates them because it's pushing them and they're not meant to be pushed. You know, real teeth have a little bit of give and take back and forth. When you have crowns or implants, it's very uncomfortable. I would like to have like those ones. That's not a rot. Just so you know, it's a silver filling. And over here, those are just gone. I was eating a, a hot dog and I went like this. And like out popped those two teeth. They were baby teeth. And my old dentist had like a love for silver fillings. Clearly. All silver fillings on the top and the bottom. Any tooth that he could put a silver filling in, he put a silver filling in. I think I think that he thought my teeth would last me forever and ever and ever. That or he was just ripping off the government. I don't know. I'm not sure. But I would like to get like these five and these five implants. It'd be all nice to have all bottom 16 implants too, but in Canada... You're looking at mm, 25 to 50 grand on your teeth. And uh, I don't have anybody that wants to spend 50 grand on some teeth for me. Unless you do. Do you? <laughs> if you're a dentist and you want to fix my face, that, used, that was like an MTV um, show that I was trying to get pitched to MTV, but MTV doesn't really do shows like that anymore. You know, like the Swan, um, those kind of shows. I wanted to pitch MTV, a show called fix my face. And it was surrounded, surrounding recovering drug addicts and alcoholics who were years into their sobriety who had, nobody has a, not a chance of, re, of relapsing. If you're, an, if you're an addict, you have a chance at relapsing. But people who were far enough into their sobriety and had upheld like a good consistency on their sobriety and then the show would take them to get their teeth fixed, filler put in because, you know, we lose volume in our cheeks when you're an addict. Uh, <clears throat> so like filler where you needed it, any kind of body modification, certain things like that. I don't know. Maybe we would pick it up, but it's my, it's my show. So if you hear that show, hopefully it's coming from me and not some sort of Reality show thief. I know they're out there. Seeing how Jamie Lynn Spears said that uh, 16 and Pregnant was her show. That she was supposed to be the star of that show. Bullshit, I call. But who am I? but I'm a freaking queen. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
Okay, I'm going back to eat my sandwich and watch my Netflix show. So, heads up, food up, chin up. I don't know what you say. Cheers. I'll see you in my next video. Love you. Not really. I don't really, really love you. Like, I love you. I love my followers. Love you. Bye.